Hey guys, Keith here with Scare Innovations. Um, this video we're going to go over some things that usually if you're a pretty heavy use site after each season, I recommend you do it. Um, the You notice that we have some extra wire that we now put in the head, so there is going to be burn back. Um, this is a, a used head right here. I was going to show you real quick what you need to do at the end of the season when you put them up. Um, you can do two things. You can take both nuts and heads off if you want to leave this in here. Uh, one of the quick ways to do it, and you can usually get to them pretty well by doing this trick, and that is just simply twisting this out and undoing this one one side. doesn't really matter each one. Um, this is a head that will stay. I'm usually that fall out. But anyway, you pull that out. You slightly loosen the other one, and now you can actually pivot this top piece around. Um, <clears throat> now I've already done two sets of these, so these are designed, this is the maximum width that you can arc. So what we usually do, um, we actually, um, anticipate a little bit of burn back. And so one of the tricks I use, I use these real cheap cutters from Harbor Freight. And so, um, actually you will notice these are trimmed at the thickness of this. In other words, these are flush cut cutters, but I turn them opposite of the flush. And that gives us a little bit of extra for the burn bag. So, <clears throat> real simple, what we do here is you take a pair of needle nose pliers, bring that into frame a little bit, and pull this up a little bit, and you pull that up just a little bit. Now you can do one side, um, and then push that over. Yeah, that kind of bend there. So we want to bring back, you can see the burnt end there a little bit. <clears throat> bring that in a little bit. I actually use the flat side of this to push that down in the groove. Like that. Um, you can use a small flathead screwdriver. Normally I, I have this on the top of the stick. Um, but anyway, so we push that in there. And then, I mean, you can just eyeball it. But you trim that back like that right there. So now we have... Um, a fresh gap. I want to do the same thing on this side. Just pull that up, stretch it in a little bit. Usually works pushing back here at the corner. Push that down in the groove. I don't think I actually pulled anything out. It slid back down in there. So pull that up a little bit. Stretch over. There we go. Um, I mean, depending on your use, what you'll notice is as these burn back, um, they, they actually sound louder uh, because the arc is going further apart, but they'll do lower frequency. They'll do, be not as high pitched. And so there we go. So I've already done that on the other two, but this one makes it a little hard. Um, either way, you can don't take both of them out because you want to keep this lined up. So now we can just slide that back over. Put this in and you want to back this thread off a little bit to make sure it's bottomed in there and then tighten back up and there you go